How's it going, guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at Spybot Search and Destroy in 2024. Now, it's changed a lot since the last time I saw it. <clears throat> uh, to download it, I will post a link on the description of the video. But you basically go to spybot uh, slash free slash download dot com, and this is where it's at. If you scroll down on the home page, uh, the download will be right here where it says download from allocator source. When you click on that, it'll open up a download and once you download it this is what it looks like here guys it's gotten a lot more simpler a lot more basic looking since the last time we uh, reviewed this a long time ago a couple years ago uh, but very simple uh, to scan you just click here on scan um, it looks like it has internet protection hold on a sec here it's doing something what the heck is it doing uh, immunization so this will pop up periodically to do an immunization go ahead and click on full immunization and I think what it does is it immunizes your kind of like how a vaccine works to make sure you don't get infected and there it is okay so make sure you do that when it pops up apply immunization guys let's go back to the actual program itself <clears throat> now uh, if you want to immunize manually, the immunize button is here. If you want to update it, the update button is here. Uh, there is by uh, there is Spybot Pro, which has more stuff on it. But right now we're reviewing the free edition. To scan, you can click here on Scan System. If you get a pop up, just say yes on it. Uh, first, it's going to come up. It's going to look for uh, temporary files, and you can clean those up if you need to. It says it'll increase your system. Let's click on it and see what it does. Cleaned up temporary files. And look, it looks like it's scanning right now. This might take a long time when it's scanning, guys. We are going to take a look and see how it it uh, affects your computer. I do have an i7, which means I have eight cores on this thing. So I don't think it's going to do much to it. Um, let's take a look here. Let's look at resource monitor. And yeah, it's not using much CPU. It's using a 30% CPU, guys. Memory, it's using not much. I'm not really using nothing much. Um, the screen recorder I'm using is using more more data, more uh, memory uh, than uh, than Spybot. So it looks like it's not too too bad. Um, I think it's this one here. It's not too too bad. CPU is at 27%. Depending on what computer you have, guys, it might slow it down a bit, but it's not that bad. As I could tell here, it's not that bad. Here it is, SD scan. There it is. Hmm, not too bad. Not too bad load on the computer. Now, like I said, the scan will take a while. If you want to pause it, you can click on pause up here. And uh, once it finds anything, you click here on fix selected. And that's how you do it, guys. Um pretty easy to use because it's free it's pretty good it's pretty good if and it does immunization I'm gonna have to give it a good review for being a free edition program guys it works pretty good um, there is a start center here oh that's where we're at right now is the start center um, that's it very simple guys scans immunizes and you and that's it um, I'm gonna have to give it a four out of five for being a free edition spy bot search and destroy but before that's my personal but before we even get close to um, um let's go to pc mag and see what they have to say about it pc magazine spy bot search and destroy here we go let's see what pc magazine has to say about it it's always good to look here uh only promises to remove spyware and other privacy threats, but in testing it didn't even do that. There is no compelling reason to add this data tool for your security arsenal. It is a data tool, like I said last time we looked at it. It was a couple of years ago. 2.0 out of 5 subpar. Dang, man. I gave it a good review, but PC Magazine does not like it. Let's go with PC Mag because they're more thorough than I am. Fast scan. The pros is fast scan, removed some spyware, and hands-on testing. Immunization blocks known malicious URLs. 
Wipes traces of computer and browser use, and it's free. That's the pros. The cons doesn't handle most malware types. Left many malware executables behind. Data immunization URL list proved ineffective. Awkward interface. Advanced features not suited to most users. Uh, On-demand malware scan, it's on there. No on-access malware scan. No website ratings. It does block malicious URLs. No phishing protection. No behavior-based detection. No vulnerability scan. No firewall. So we're going to have to give it a 2 out of 5, actually, you guys. Good thing I checked on PC Mag. Uh, See, it's an old program, guys. It's an old program. Let's go down. Let's see if they did any testing with it. Um, so when it finds anything, this is what it looks like here, guys. Our scan hasn't found it. It shouldn't find anything. I don't think I have anything on my any viruses on my computer. I do these reviews so much, it probably gets everything. Um, let's go down though. Let's see if they did any tests with it. Uh, no tests. I don't see any tests. Ooh, they didn't even do any tests. Well, they did tests, but I don't see a... Sometimes in PC Mag we can see here how it did, but I don't see it here. All right, well... Well, it's a 2 out of 5, guys. I wouldn't get it. It's old. Like I said, we haven't reviewed this thing for a long time. Now there's so much stuff going on, guys. I don't think it's going to protect you on everything. Now, if your computer does have a virus and you need a free... Uh, program. I would run this in conjunction with AVG, in conjunction with uh, uh, what was the other one called? Um, Super Anti Spyware. This one and AVG. That's what I usually run when I'm trying to get rid of somebody's uh, viruses on their computer. Uh, but AVG is the way to go when that when uh, for viruses these days, the free ones. You know, you don't need the paid ones to get rid of your viruses or spyware, guys. You can use the free ones. But this should do it. Uh, if you're just going to search for viruses because you have one, this is the way to go. But if you need some active protection, this is not the way to go, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video.